Let's vote for the man who got Osama. President Obama's billion dollar re-election campaign has been financially supported by a powerful celebrity lineup. He is fighting for changes that grow the economy from the middle out. Hollywood has been a reliable source for campaign cash, but just steps away from these high priced events, impoverished residents are struggling to survive. I, I, I have lived on the streets before and I've lived in a cardboard box. U.S. Navy veteran Wesley Walker knows firsthand what it's like to be homeless. He now advocates on their behalf. Walker worries problems like gentrification and hunger are being ignored in the political debate. If either one of those candidates should come to, to L.A., they should forget about the security staff that they have and everything and dress up like, like everyday joke. Campaign observers doubt either of the candidates will visit Skid Row anytime soon. The poor don't make big campaign contributions. The poor, end up, as a result, end up being um, rendered invisible because both parties are owned by big money. The city of Los Angeles has played host to several of the president's star-studded fundraisers. But the Golden State has been good to both the Obama and the Romney campaigns, each of which have raised millions of dollars here in California. This is a campaign fundamentally about how to help the middle class in America. I want to give middle class families and folks who are striving to get in the middle class, some relief. The high jobless rate and sluggish recovery have only led to a wider wealth gap in the U.S. According to the Census Bureau, more than 46 million Americans live in poverty. The poverty rate in California is nearly 17 percent. The stark difference between the haves and the have-nots is clearly displayed in Los Angeles, where high-priced condos sit next to old, dilapidated rental units. Before gentrification started, you can get a unit for maybe three to five hundred dollars a month. And for people that's on SSI or disability that make eight, nine hundred dollars a month, this is what we can afford. In this city where twenty-five thousand dollar dinner plates sell fast at campaign fundraisers, neighborhood food banks are in desperate need of donations. Oh, Kid Rock! It's fast on a rough road riding. So as rock stars pledge their allegiance to top political contenders, income inequality keeps growing. You might have amnesia. The barrage of campaign ads is what two billion dollars in fundraising buys in America. I met Romney and I approved this message. I'm Barack Obama and I approve this message. Because no matter who we get in office, the, the, the ball keep ended up on the other side of the court, right? So the system needs to be changed, right? So that we can get our fair justice. After the election is settled, those who were left out of the political spending frenzy are left to wonder when their voice will be heard. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.